Hello there my friends, this is a boy and his dog and welcome to Retro Edition, a channel where, amongst other things, I continue my mission to play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's video we take our first look not only at the game of the month, Tapeworm Disco Puzzle, but the new game mode competition mode and the firmware update holds a few more surprises. I will get to that at the end of the video. So, without further ado, let's get started. So I've just updated to the latest firmware 2.1.0. As you can see there is now a star on the left menu bar. So I click on that. There we go. Oh, it's exciting. So it shows the game at the top and down the bottom we have a bit of info about the feature itself. Available until you download the next game of the month. Ah. Right, let's click on it and take a look. Okay, so here we have the game page. Tapeworm Disco Puzzle is a grid based puzzle game for one player. As a tapeworm owns a local nightclub, it's your job to make sure all the fleas enjoy themselves. You have a variety of objectives to complete along the way. Can you keep the beats banging while hanging out with your little hairy friends? Okay, let's have a look at the control worm. Yep, simple enough. Okay, let's have a look at this competition mode then. Okay, do you want to launch competition mode? Using this mode will allow you to prove your true mastery of this game. However, in-game saves and save states will be disabled. You'll know you're playing competition mode by the trophy in the top left corner. Good luck. Oh, quite simple. Right, here we go. I'm loving the music. See so if you look at the top left there, you can see the little um, trophy. That means we're in competition mode. So no saving. Oh, it looks just like Flea, doesn't it? Right, okay. I've got to click these music notes. Oh, okay. I've only got. I can only go a certain length. Okay, right. What do I do? Can I go back and go back? Oh, okay. And it gives you more moves again. Lo la la lo. Oh, awesome. I like the cutscenes. Brilliant. And I love the little tape in between, that's cool. Right, okay, we've got to get these music notes. So we go forward and then we have to go back on ourselves. And the top left there I see we've got uh, how many moves we can do. Oh god, gotta be a bit precise here. Right, what do I do now? Oh I see, oh I get it. You go through the in the tape and you come back out the other side. Oh that's awesome, isn't it? Oh audio on level three. I'm loving this game so far. Right. Because I can't be touched by him. So if I go down again. Okay, then up. Oh. Right, let's go along. I'm going to get him after he's gone past. Awesome. Level 4 flea. Oh, is this like the flea from the old game? Yeah, look, there he is. Oh, he bounces on your head. Oh, that's awesome. Five. Right, okay. Oh, I wonder what the tapes do. Oh, they give you more moves. Okay. Your you, uh, snake can go longer. Sorry, the worm. <laughs> when you get the tapes. Oh, idiot. The music's so good. So I won't play this game for too long. It's very addictive though. We have heard of some fleas acting odd. Oh look at the image of him sticking out the tape. Level 6. Okay. Was that like sand? Can we oh we can go through it, that's cool. Right, let's go up here first. Come back. Ourselves and uh, we'll go back down and then up the other side, I think. So I probably could have gone around the other way. Cool. 
we played some through this, didn't we? Shouldn't say that. Okay, I've got to be careful because if I go out from under him, um, he'll fall, won't he? Oh, I can get there, I think. Right, where are we now? Level 8. I swear I'll stop at level 10. I promise. <laughs> Isn't this game good, though? Right, can we push that down? Right, I'm assuming we'll let him go past. Little maggot maggot, and then push it down. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what am I doing? Don't hit the spike, you idiot. Oh, shit, we better go down and get that tape. We're not going to be long enough, are we? There we go. Right, up here. Along, down. I mean, I like flea, but honestly, I think this is better. Fudge do we do here? Do I right we get that first? What do I go straight up? Like really fast? Oh no. So they can't touch you. Right, let's get that first. We know we've got to get that first. Um Do I quickly go up the side? Oh no, he's gonna come. Right, do I go quick, 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 quick? No. About, oh, I'm such an idiot. There's a pit down there. Right, when it's gone past, let's make a hole. And oh, you idiot! You know, just make one space, one space. Yeah, and then come out the way, and then here fall in the pit. Yes. Can we do that with the second guy? And then we should be able to go up and get him. I swear this is going to be the last level. Right. Okay. We can do that. Oh, shit. I didn't think this through, did I? Sorry, mate. Okay. Right, let's go up here first then, because he's safe underneath. No, not if you let him hit that. Come on, that's it. Oh. Get him up there. Yes! And then he'll be safe. Oh, silly man. That's quite... And then we can go up here and we'll do the level so it won't matter. Yes! Great show so far. Are you ready for the second half? Ooh. Eee! <laughs> I do like these cutscenes. Are you okay? What? Wait, where are you going? Oh, I did say to stop at level 10, didn't I? Oh, it's changed. You've got a little fella. Oh, it'd be the lady, wouldn't it? Right, we've got to get her to the door, I'm guessing. Now, if I do that and bring her down with me... Well, she faces the wrong way, though. Like that. Okay, that's not going to work. Right, if I... Yeah, come out here and then go from the door to the left and then go up through there. facing the right way. Yes! There we go. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Wow, what a great game. I've played for much longer. It keeps adding really groovy concepts as you go. And level 20 was brilliant, like the boss stages from Flea. I can't wait to get stuck in proper and I have my review up in the next couple of weeks. Right, before I go, there are a few more things to talk about. With the firmware came various patches for games of issues, including some from the renovation collection itself. But most importantly, they have let slip that they have added a few more secret games to the VS. 
So I'm by pressing a combination of buttons, i.e. not using the secret option, just, just out on the main screen. And we have another by cart combination. And while I have no idea what the button combination secret games are, I can say what the cart combo one is, and which carts you need. So look away now and mute the volume if you want to find help for yourself. Right. And I tell ye, this has been a frustrating one to find, it took me bloody hours. They said it would be easy, so I thought it's got to include one of the newer carts, which doubles a left. Tried mixing arcade or console. Tried any two carts that might hold some kind of connection. But you know, the carts I didn't try are the ones that were already part of a secret. And guess what? It worked out that one of the carts is a cart we've used before. So... <laughs> Drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. The two carts you need are Pico Collection One and Pico Galico Arcade One. Because, of course, Galico is Pico as well. My god, it took me forever. So, anyway, the game is <laughs> Twin Brats. I recorded this bit earlier, so I'm not talking over what I'm playing now. I'm only going to show you quickly so you can get an idea of it. So basically, it's like Pac-Man, but you've got like swinging doors. Look at that. It's actually really cool. It plays really well. They go, the siren come, um, starts and they come out after you. But honestly, this game is so much fun. Um, and I prefer this so much more than, was it Lock and Chase? The other game that was like this, but you could lock doors. I found that so annoying. Um, this game definitely feels like it's more on your side a bit. Haha, <laughs> awesome stuff. I keep meaning to do a video on the secret games and view all of them too. Must get on with that at some point. Right then, if you've made it here to the end of the video, thank you very much for joining me. Please leave a thumbs up or a comment if you would like. Either way, I'm just chuffed you poked your head in the door to take a gander. Join me in the next video where we'll be taking our first look at the games on the Amiga Mini. <gasps> I know, internal screaming. I hope you have an awesome day, my friends. And until next time, be seeing you.